So let's now see how we can create an alias for our Windows machine. That means a shortcut for our PHP artisan when we are using command prompt. So you can see I have this testing folder where I have Laravel project and let's open command prompt for this particular folder. For that, yes, you can open command prompt and do the CD and all stuffs, but just press shift and right click there in the empty space. You will get a new option called open command window here. Let's open this and that's good. And now if I say PHP artisan, hit enter, you can see we get all the artisan related command. That's exactly we know that the, yeah this php artisan will do this kind of things but it will be very hard it's a pain to write php artisan every time every time and if you have a big project <laughs> this is not for you writing php artisan make colon controller and all that stuff so why not shift this php artisan to only pa but if i type pa it says PA is not internal or external command. So in the DOS or in command prompt to uh, create an alias, they will call it DOS key. So if I say DOS key, D-O-S-K-E-Y, then give a space, then I will say PA, which is the command I want to create, then this will be equal to PHP artisan. Super easy things. So if I hit enter, it looks like nothing happened but what if I type PA okay you can see that PA is just giving that PHP artisan so behind the scene it's actually running PHP artisan but we just have to type PA nothing else but there is a problem if I close this command prompt try to open once more and again I will press shift and right click here open command window and let's try again that PA hmm it says PA is not internal external command this actually seems like that DOS key is only available for that particular session of the command prompt hmm so we need to make sure whenever we open a command prompt then at the same time before opening the command prompt we need to run that command but how we can do that thing so for that what you can do just close this why not open notepad so let's type notepad here so that will open notepad and here i can simply say dos key pa is equal to php artisan and now i need to save this file so save and let's save it on document and i will say here dos key you can name it anything but the extension has to be has to be bat dot bat file so i have saved this so let's minimize this and let's do one thing so if i now press windows button and you can see just you can type cmd here to search for the command prompt and here let's right click and open file location and here again right click let's go to properties and in this property you can see the target is this one okay so we need to say whenever you are opening this targeted file just open that particular uh, file for dos key dot bat we have created so let's go to document and here we have that file so how we can grab this path of this dos key so again right click and go to its properties and here you can see the location is this so let's copy this and here what we need to do just after the target we need to say forward slash k and let's paste this thing and after that the file name which is dos key dot bat simple so apply it and let's close this one and now we just have to go to the dos and let's open it so double click on dos command prompt 
which is this and as soon as I open you can see it first open this one and then we it's saying okay let's start doing something so this is good this means if I say PA it will recognize it as internal command and yes it's saying artisan not found this means it is going to this thing okay but even after we don't want this one so it's again super easy things so let's go to the doski.bash and here doski.bat not bash so just here we have to say at echo off so it's just going to say whatever you will do here don't show this so let's go back double click on command prompt mm -hmm, you can see we don't have that this means pa will run the uh, artisan command so that's good let's do one more thing Close this window and again on this level project, press shift, right click and open command window here. Try to say PA. Hmm, it says command not found, but we have done everything correct. That's because you can see the command window opened here is of window system 32 CMT. But what we are opening, which is command prompt shortcut. So let's open this file location, which is this one. So we can do same thing for this one also. So let's open properties for this. And we can do that, but we don't have that script running for this one. So for Windows users, sorry about that. You cannot do that thing directly. So you need to navigate every time you can do but for that you can just make things very easy if you need uh, suppose you have all the laravel project in one folder so suppose th this is the testing folder you have okay so what i can do i can copy this one so whole thing i can copy or i even i can copy from here so let's open that bat file we have created let's open this i will show you a cool thing ah, I don't need to open this I, I need to edit it so edit and here let's just give another command so DOS key and this time we will say uh, Laravel project LP is for Laravel project and whenever I type LP we need to go to this uh, location we need to actually cd into this file so cd into this location not file so save once more go back close this command prompt so let's open command prompt once more and yes we have this so let's type lp hit enter and yes we are here and pa and now pa you can see is working absolutely fine so this is the way you can configure and you can make your environment and your your work experience little faster with these things so don't forget to subscribe this channel and don't forget to like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye